In this video, we're going to talk about what you can do to hook up your Mac to multiple monitors and be able to actually use your MacBook like the powerhouse that it really is. So Sansing Master actually sent this over to me. This is a 10 in one docking station that actually has the power of display link. Don't worry, it's an empty box. I actually have it right here. So this device can connect via USB-C or USB-A like this. And this is gonna to connect to your Mac or even a Windows device. And it's gonna give you not only just one monitor out, but it's gonna give you multiple monitor outs. And the cool thing is it actually connects via either HDMI or a display port cable. So, so let's talk about how we hook this up. First things first is you wanna make sure you connect it to the USB-C port or USB-A port of your computer. Now, it is compatible with both Windows and Mac. I've used it for multiple different connections. I've used it with my Mac Studio, I've used it with my M2 MacBook Air, and also with my M3 Pro MacBook Pro. And there's no limitation really to how you wanna use it. I've also hooked them to my Windows gaming computer so I could do some work on multiple screens and play some games on multiple screens. So before I actually hook this up, I wanna talk about what you get with this. So you get not only a headphone jack on the side here, but you do get up to 100 watt power delivery. So you do get that pass through charging where you can hook up to a 100 watt power delivery here and then be able to charge your device out through here as well. You get two display outs, a display one and a display two that can connect either via HDMI or display port. You get three USB 3.1 connections so you get up to super speed 10 i believe it is and you also get an ethernet port here as well so you have a lot of connections for this so the first thing you want to do before you hook this up is download the display link software from synaptic go ahead and you can follow the link down below and it's going to take you to where you could download the driver for this just pick your operating system and then you'll be good to go once it's installed it's going to automatically have a couple different configuration settings that you just have to kind of click through such as being able to um, power it off if you close the laptop or power off if you open it. Um, also allow you, if you use like your watch to wake up your Mac, you just wanna make sure you enable those settings correctly. And then from there, once it's connected, once you plug this in, your Mac will register those monitors as they're connected automatically and then automatically give you the best resolution possible and frame rate or response rate as possible. Now I will say these ports are fast. I went ahead and connected my SSD. So I have a Samsung SSD drive connected via an external USB-C cable. And by connecting that, I'm still able to get over, over 500 megabyte up in uh, read and write speeds. So you definitely get high quality, especially if you need to use an external drive. You get a fast response and I had no complaints with it. As far as lag, uh, when you connect to multiple screens. Now, every computer is gonna be slightly different um, because you are connecting, if you're doing USB-C to like a Thunderbolt port or USB-A, you wanna make sure you have a USB-A port that supports at least that 3.1 or higher bitrate. Video-wise, it can support up to two 4K 60 hertz displays. Actually, I have a mix of a 1080p 144 as well as a 4K uh, 30 right here, actually 4K 60. So you're gonna kind of see a mix of that. To download the drivers, go ahead and hook up all your devices and connect it to your monitors. Now, the trick with MacBooks is that you do have to have power. So if you want to use something like this MacBook Air, you have to connect the power source either through the MagSafe adapter or through the USB-C pow the pass-through power. Once you do that, then your Mac will automatically register in clamshell mode. And then with the mouse and keyboard movements, it'll turn out automatically and you can control it with no issues. Honestly, that's it. So if you're the kind of person that you're gonna be working on a desktop on a regular basis, but then you need to travel, like maybe you're like me, I do some video editing sometimes downstairs or at a coffee shop, and then I get home and I wanna be able to use my entire setup. All I gotta do is just plug it in via one connection and I'm good to go and I can rock. And I don't have to worry about limitations as far as, oh, what I can't connect, what I can't connect. And anywhere I go, as long as I have the display link system set up and the driver automatically popping up during startup, your Mac can now use more than one monitor and it can be the powerhouse that it really is. Hopefully this helped you. And if you wanna buy this, I'll put a link below as well as, like I said, a link for the driver. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Honestly, what can you go wrong?
especially with a cool dock station that's small. And if you need to take off somewhere, it's portable as well. So I'm Joe. This has been Matsu XL. And until next time, peace.